Everybody, everybody now. Turn around and bounce. Yo. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Naya. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome cousin. How are you? Here on my channel, I give you guys YouTube tips and tricks. I do my hair when I feel cute. <laughs> and I'll do a bunch of other stuff that you guys probably do not care about. Welcome to a YouTube video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys an iMovie 101 tutorial. I will be coming out with how I edit my videos personally in another video, but y'all gotta get me to 10,500 on Instagram. For those of you who do not know, I edit my videos using iMovie on my MacBook Pro. Oh, I got it in 2018 though. This is the MacBook Pro. I record my videos using the camera on my iPhone. I use my front camera on my iPhone XR. Today, I will just be showing you guys the ropes and, you know, just a basic iMovie 101 tutorial showing you guys what it is that you're looking at on the screen. And again, if you guys want a more detailed tutorial on how I personally edit my videos, then just you know follow me on instagram give this video a thumbs up and comment that that's something that you want to see so without further ado we're going to jump right into the video first thing that we're going to want to do is open imovie so what you could do is click create new and now and you would select movie i already have one open i'm just going to select this and what i'm going to do is airdrop a clip and i'm going to drag it to imovies it's three videos that i recorded so i'm just going to Hold it and drag it into iMovie. What we're going to focus on today is everything up here. The first thing that we're going to talk about is this thing right here. This thing right here, it says automatically improves the video and audio quality of the selected clip. So say this is the clip, right? Okay, and we know that we're using this clip because it has a yellow border, it's highlighted. See, when you click, it's yellow, yellow yellow we're going to click on this one because this is the one we want to enhance we're just going to click this i don't know if you guys see a difference it kind of just enhances it a little bit so we're going to move over to this little thing right here and this one is just a color balance i don't really use this one like that but it kind of i guess it evens stuff out auto is just auto match color this one i'm not too sure about so we're just we're not even going to talk about that because this is we're not going to use that right now white balance is basically something that you could use to whiten whatever it is that you want to whiten as you guys can see it kind of got like this little dropper here you can just click on what you want to be white not white but like white balance which means brighter i guess let's click on this pillow and see what happens so you see like it just balances stuff out but like, it's weird because it kind of got like a blue tint to it. Now I'm clicking on the back of the wall. And I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's kind of turning white. <laughs> it looks brighter. And then watch watch when I click on this, um, this pillow. It kind of makes it blue. Nothing really fancy. You guys, this stuff over here, I don't touch like... I don't i don't touch this at all skin tone balance y'all i just i don't know oh wow you see like why why would i need this i don't think i would need this all this thing does is balances out the skin tone Next, we're going to move on this little like it's like a can what's that thing called that the painters use with the holes for the paint <laughs> but this is this is a color corrector technically it has three settings but it really has one two three four five six seven this i don't really touch much but if i do i use this one and this one so this one right here is more like a vibrance option more towards the right is a higher saturation more towards the left is a lower one so i'm going to show you guys it's like a dial in the middle this one says adjust temperature to make colors warmer or cooler and that just means either more orange or more blue which is cool these things over here i don't really touch okay so it's different ones for each it says adjust shadows to make dark areas lighter or darker so we're going to play around with that and see what happens you see it just it makes it it this is the shadow one okay so it's like shadows so if you want more shadows you go towards the left if you want less shadows you go towards the right so i'm going to put that right back where it was this one here is a contrast to increase or decrease the difference between light and dark areas okay we're on the third circle now and this one adjusts the brightness so we're going to make it lighter or darker if you want to so we're going to make it lighter and we can also make it darker again i do not use any of these things and we're on to the fourth one now and this one adjusts 
the contrast to increase or decrease the difference between light and dark areas. So basically all this thing all over here is shadows. Like, and the last one again is brightness or darkness. It's all shadows. But this one is more like a saturated kind of one. But that's just how that's looking now. Um, again, I do not use any of these here. When I do go onto iMovie and I edit my videos, the first thing that I do for all of my videos is I click this auto enhance and then I just leave it. Next, we're going to move over to this crop option here. There are three options here. One says fit, one says crop to fill, and the other one is Ken Burns. So the fit option is basically how the video is now. The whole video frame is in the video. This is fit because the whole thing fits. Next is crop to fill and that one is easy. You select and you highlight what you want to crop. So for example, right here, I don't want all of this in the background. So I'm kind of just going to crop to the computer and it the crop, it just goes up and down. There's no other way. It just goes up or down. So I'm going to crop to like right there. And I'm going to click the blue circle right here. And there's also an option to reset right next to the blue circle. If you feel like you messed up, you can always click reset and it'll go back. And the last one is Ken Burns. And that's when you get the zoom in or the zoom out. So I'm going to select Ken Burns. There's a box around start and there's a box around end. So for example, say I wanted to start on the full screen, but I wanted to zoom in to this screen right here. I'm going to leave start where it is and I'm going to select end right here and you see I'm just going to crop it. I don't know. Say I wanted to zoom into this mountain right here and I'm going to click the check right here and let's 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 watch it play. Do you guys see it zooming in? You can tell because the background is fading away over here and say I wanted to zoom into my face. I'm going to leave start where it is and I'm going to I'm going to select end and uh, I don't know let's let's just zoom into my face I don't know because I like doing that for some reason and let's start from the beginning you guys see it it's getting closer and closer and closer and closer next this right here I do not know what this is I'm going to be honest with you guys but it says stabilize shaky video um i guess this is for if you have a shaky video and you want to stabilize it you would select this option but when i record i use a tripod so um i never had to use this option before but that's something that you can do the one next to that is volume it auto it just enhances the the volume and improves the loudness so if you feel like your video is too low you can select auto so i'm going to show you guys that really quickly so i'm going to deselect it it will turn gray and we're going to listen to the audio. So let's see if we hear a difference. Hi guys, it's Naya. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome cousin. How are you? All right. Now I'm going to select auto. Hi guys, it's Naya. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome cousin. How are you? Um, here on my channel, I give you guys YouTube tips and tricks. I do my hair when I feel cute. <laughs> and I'll do a bunch of other stuff. I don't know if you guys heard a difference, but it, there's definitely a difference. It slightly just increases the loudness of the video. Next, this is also something that you can use for your audio. So if you have a lot of background noise, um, there's an option here that says reduce background noise. Again, I've never had to use this because I don't have no background noise. Um, but this is something that could work for you guys. And equalizer, this option right here, I don't... It's set to flat, but you could voice enhance and music enhance, increase the loudness, hum reduction, A, B, and C. Say we want to do music enhance. All it does is make it louder. Hi, guys. It's Naya. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, cousin. How are you? And watch when I go back to flat and hear the difference. Thank you. Um, here on my channel, I give you guys YouTube tips and tricks. So this is just the speed of the video. If you want to speed it up, you can speed it up. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. So we're going to select that. And you see right here, it says speed. Right now, we have it set to normal. But you would just click on this. And if you want to slow it down, you select slow. If you want it to be faster, you can select fast. And you can also adjust how fast you want it to be. So this is two times faster, four times, eight times, and 20 times, which is like super duper fast. And there's also a freeze frame where you could, you know, a freeze frame. So for example, it will look like this. Yeah, I will be showing you guys. Uh, I 
like she, I move you. she just stopped it's also custom so there's a custom speed so if you wanted to move at a certain percentage you would just select that percentage and that's that and over here is how i add my clip filters and my clip audio so for example clip filter i would just select black and white but there are a whole bunch of other filters here that you can select and let's say i want the audio to be not okay in today's video i will be showing you guys a i will be one oh one tutorial i will be so those are the two that i usually use it's pitch down one and pitch up one but there are a whole bunch of other audios like listen so we'll be showing you guys and moving on over this one i don't know what this is right here it's just clip information it just tells you like what's going on in the clip and if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask me next we're just going to go to my media and that's just your iMovie stuff like that's where your iMovie stuff is at <laughs> right next to media it says audio and that's just where your music is at, really. So music, this is all music that I have downloaded from my computer. You know, all my little soca music or whatever. Hold on. Orlando. You know. Yeah. Patrice, again. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's where your music will be at. Whatever music that you download onto your computer, it will be here. So there's an option for sound effects right here. And you can just search for, you know, what it is that you want. Sound effects, they kind of too complicated for me because I could never find what I want. But if I do use a sound effect, I use bottle cork. Which sounds like this that thing they have you know a whole bunch of things here there's so much things here and if you want to add a title to your video you just select titles and you select what title you want like you really just select the titles okay you guys we are almost done so please just bear with me titles um this one is backgrounds and it's just for if you want a background so if you want this you know in the video you just take it and boom put it there if you want to add a title, you go back to titles up here and you select what title and you want and you type. So I don't know, y'all. We're going to go to title and we're going to select, I don't know, horizontal blur. And also, when you select titles, you can also edit the font, which is right here. They have a whole bunch of fonts here. And you can select what size by clicking this arrow. We're going to do 278. And next to that is just aligning the text. Do you want it in the middle? Do you want it to the left? Do you want it in the right? This B right here stands for bold. So if you want bold, you click it. If you want it to be italic, some fonts don't offer italic, which is the slanted text, which is fine. And then the O for outline, for if you want it to be outlined or not. See that? Darker, lighter, darker. And this shade box right here, is for the color so if you want to change the color you just change the color by dragging around the little thingy and then once you're satisfied you want to click the check and boom so let's see what that looks like over the background instagram if y'all want to know how i yo <laughs> edit my bit and that's that and transitions is simply transitions so there are a whole bunch of transitions here cross dissolve and it shows you previews. You know, just find what you like to use because there's so many here. Yeah, that's really it for all of this up here. So if you don't use AirDrop and you want to import videos from your phone or, you know, whatever it is, you can select this down option, this down arrow right here. And that's how you can import it. But my computer is weird and it don't be, it don't be having stuff here. So I'll be having this to AirDrop. This is the last thing that I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys how you can split delete and edit you know your clips what you would do is take your two fingers i don't know whatever two fingers you want to use it don't matter to me hold down boom you just click and these options will show up it says split add freeze frame detach audio whatever all that extra fancy stuff you select split clip and boom
and editing is literally just deleting what you do not need but literally all i do is split clip but you can add a freeze frame which is the second option and you could select that and that's just adding the freeze my videos frame using see how it pause and when you have the freeze frame remember it's highlighted that's what it's focused on you can you know make it as long as you would like with our two fingers we're gonna see what else pops up you can cut a clip and that deletes it i don't ever be cutting clips i don't cut no clips because you can delete a clip we don't want to delete any clips right now so i'm not going to select that and a whole bunch of other fancy stuff um that i don't use but if you want to detach the audio there's an option for that trim to playhead i'm not sure what that means so show clip and trimmer not sure anything down here i do not use i only use split clip or add freeze frame um if i didn't go over it there's this thing right here which uh, basically just increases or decreases how how far away it is. So the more towards the right it is, the closer, the more towards the left, the more further away it is. And that's the iMovie tutorial, you guys. That's the end of this video, and I hope that you guys really enjoyed. Again, if you want to know how I personally edit my videos, then just get me to that number or like this video, and um, I'll be sure to get that video out for you guys. And comment that that's something that you would like to see so that I know. Do not forget to check out my YouTube Tips and Tricks playlist to answer any questions that you might have about YouTube. And I also have hair playlists and other stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. To the ground and then You could be short or you could be tall You could be big or you could be small She don't really care, she just want all Girls start tick 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 it and tick